I recently came across this animation on CodePen, and the way this is done is every group of two dots is one element, the child element. The two dots are its two pseudo elements, the after and the before, and the node element is used for positioning, its child element is used for rotating. And this is a tactic I've employed in the past, because otherwise uh, keyframes would get inefficient really fast, especially for a lot of elements. But now we can do better with CSS custom properties. So I'm going to show you how to reduce the code to about a third. First of all, we're going to compact the markup and we're going to node, but let's switch to a preprocessor. In general, I prefer using the preprocessor that lets me write the least amount of code. Um, as uh, for the stalling, we're actually going to uh, delete everything and start from scratch. So our uh, body, our uh, background, uh, black, and then for node, uh, we're going to set position absolute. Uh, we're going to set a padding, which is going to be, I don't know, something. And let's set a background just so that we can see stuff. Um, white. And now we can see it. Let's put it in the middle. So that's going to be our top 50%. And it's going to be then left 50%. And now let's add a border radius 50%. And the next thing that we're going to do is distribute this stuff on a circle. So we have 12 of them. And the circle is going to be of radius R. Let's say we're going to make it in viewport units. Um, and what we're going to do is set a transform here. And it's going to be a rotate um, and here we're going to use a custom property a which is zero by default and then we're going to have a translate y minus r okay this moves the first one up now the next thing that we're going to do is compute a base angle which is different from this current uh, angle here so the base angle is going to be 180 degrees over n and the next thing that we're going to compute is the edge of uh, the polygon formed by those dots okay so um the edge is going to be two times the radius times the tangent of half the base angle okay and here we're going to have a loop so for i from one, we don't need to uh, reset A on the first one. From one to N, we're going to have nth child I plus one. And here we're going to set A to I times, uh, times two times the base angle. Okay, but we want two dots for each of these. So what we're going to do is set a box shadow and the X offset is going to be minus half the edge and it's going to be zero. And the second one is going to be half and this is going to uh, become color. And now we have our dots. So let's animate them. We're going to have keyframes um, and let's also set um, an animation duration so t two seconds and next thing uh, 50 percent 100 percent and we're going to have another transform actually let's take this out of here make it a base transform and here we're going to set transform is the base Um, the same and here we're going to add a rotation rotate 
half a turn. And now let's add our animation. So animation. Our rotation. The duration is T and it's going to be infinite. So now it should work. They should rotate. But uh, we need an animation delay. So animation delay is going to be um, I over N times T. And now they're delayed, but here, one more thing, they don't all rotate in the same direction. So what we're going to do is, um, for the even ones, so nth child to n, we're going to uh, set a switch, and we're going to set it to 1. And here we're going to use a calc, which uses that switch inside, uh, to switch the sign. So um, i, and the default is going to be minus 1, and we need to multiply it with half a turn. So yeah, this is it. It's uh, just like the original animation, only it has 32 lines of uh, sass compared to, I don't know, it's 92. So that's about a third of the sass just because we used CSS custom properties. So um, yeah, this is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have any other questions or ideas for future videos, just drop them in the comments or send them on Twitter. And until next time.